What's up everybody? Uh, today's video, I'm going to do kind of one of those day in the life type things where uh, you know, I just kind of show you what I eat and everything. But today what it's going to be is a keto road trip. I'm going to stop and get a few of the, my favorite snacks to show you what, what I eat on a going along, when I go on a long road trip. Because we go on a good one at least once every weekend, a couple hours. So we're just going to follow me along. First thing I have to do is feed, feed the rabbit here. Now she's hungry. Got her some spinach. Uh, rabbits are pretty ketogenic too. She eats her leftover spinach. Mmm. Put that in a skillet with some eggs, don't you? So let's get her water. Dang, girl, you was thirsty. Put her some spinach in her bowl. And this will last her about two, two or three days. I'll bet I check on her every afternoon just to make sure. Stay on the line. We're going to get some keto snacks at the local Mapco. Really need to get a better camera. <laughs> or one with a flip out lens for the outside stuff. Because I couldn't tell if you could see me or not. Maybe not be able to see me in this shot. After we get back on the road trip, we'll be using this bad boy, this Traeger behind me. Cook some Italian sausage and some country style ribs. Let's go on a road trip. All right, we are doing the damn thing. Just now started our road trip. About to pull into the old Mapco. Got to get some go juice first. Are you gonna do this the whole time? Or are you gonna turn it off? <laughs> Way to break the fourth wall there. <laughs> yeah, you can turn it off now. All right. Look at all these bikers. Over there. A ton of them. <laughs> Did you see them come in there? Yeah, that was hilarious. Busting like game busting. <laughs> then that guy walked up next to the guy on the pump by us. I thought they were going to fight. I thought they were going to fight. Yeah, I'm like, oh gosh, they're not together. Please don't fight. Well, what kind of turbo boost you got on the Honda there? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> you got your turbo <laughs> boost on the Honda. Oh, your high boost. I got the big white tire in the back there. First thing I got is the Pure Leaf unsweetened tea, but this is sometimes they have the ones that got the lemon in it. That stuff is the bomb.com. Most of them got citric acid, but this is extra flavor. It's no sweet tea, but it'll does the trick because I opened this in a semi truck trying to pass me. Yeah. Safety first. Yeah. That's pretty good though. You can definitely tell there's a lot of lemon in it. Oh and the wide mouth really helps. I'm gonna kill us all trying to eat to drink this tea. Yeah that stuff Get a good look at it. That's the good stuff. They got other things. What's that other golden leaf? Uh -huh. Golden. A pure leaf is my favorite. Mostly because it's the only thing Mapco carries besides maybe some off brand. Yes. I right, check this out. This it almost took a took a turn to be in video just about this when I saw there was a Philly cheesesteak flavored Slim Jim. I didn't even know what to do. I squealed like a girl for a second. People looked at me. I can open this. Oh yeah, it's a Philly cheesesteak Slim Jim. You're never gonna guess what it tastes like. It tastes like a damn Slim Jim. I don't know where the Philly comes in. Hang on, I'm getting something. No, nope. I don't taste cheesesteak or Philly cheesesteak at all. Made with cheesesteak. Isn't that just steak? Cheesesteak is just steak that they put cheese on. That's that's false advertising, Slim Jim. That's a strike down. Now, we got buffalo style, which I can only assume tastes like uh, hot wings. Don't get your hopes up. I bet it tastes like Slim Jims. Look at that. I didn't get it. That smells like a hot wing. 
Oh, we might have some here, folks. We might have a wreck, too. So, stay tuned. That tastes like a Slim Jim, too. But with more of a hint of buffalo sauce and a cheesesteak out of a cheesesteak. It smells more like a hot wing than it tastes. You get half a point on this one, Slim Jim. The other Slim Jim I got is original. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to open it because I know what it tastes like, but it's a keto road trip staple. If all fails, get, grab original. It also makes good fish bait, but that's for another video at another time. Chiche Ronis. Chiche, how do you say it? Chiche Ronis. Am I saying it right? Chiche Ronis. It says fried pork skins. Chiche Ronis. This is a Mexican dish. It's a Chiche Ronis. It's basically a taco with a sack. Chiche Ronis. Tacos are burnt. Racist. Why don't you go vote Trump? No, thank you. Barbecue pork skin is probably my favorite. Golden Flake barbecue pork skin may be the best one they make in existence. Now, the Louisiana hot sauce Golden Flake barbecue. Oh, Chiche that's where it's at. Cheat chatter on this. That's good, but you can't eat it while you drive because it's hot as shit. Excuse the language, but that's what it's hot as. It's hard to eat and drive and drink a gallon of, gallon of milk at the same time. What's the other thing I got? You got some nuts. And I got a sack of nuts. Here's my nut sack. I mean, sack of nuts. But these are only, these are uh, four net carbs for the whole bag. And four or five, it's eight total, but four or five or so four net. Leonard four net, who got kicked out of the combine? Or no, that was, who got kicked out of the combine? Reuben Foster. Reuben Foster. Yeah, Leonard four net's still in the combine. He's fast. Not fast enough for the Bama defense, but fast nonetheless. But I'm not going to open these either because I'm about full on Slim Jim. Well, we have arrived at our destination out at the family farm. And it's the uh, same place I did that Christmas thing with the sheep. And it's windy as hell today. I don't know why there's a fire over there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see it? I'm zooming in. Somebody's got a fire built. I think it's just leaves, but still, it's windy. I don't know if you can even hear me through it. It's all the way back out. Flying some kites today. Okay. regular old Sunday we're over here check out the bees for the honey even though I can't have honey it's still cool to check out the bees we're over here where all the bees are also known as the apiary I'm gonna see how close I can get this camera in on them I'm gonna stretch the tripod out I know I did this for another GoPro video a couple years ago look at all those bees where are they getting me I got enough of them down the line. Half a dozen boxes. You hear them buzzing too. Well there, yes. Let's see what else we can get into. Maybe a four-wheeler ride in our future. Oddly enough, this is what feeds the bees. We've got some sugar water in there. It's like empty right now. I didn't tell them about that. Whew, I tell you what, you know, I had all those snacks. I drove about, drove another hour, got the Sunday dinner, I ended up eating a full freaking meal. A bunch of Brussels sprouts and some sausage and some chicken. I'm just, I'm going to have to walk a half a mile and fly some cots just to wear that off. Golly, full was a tick. You know when you're full off keto, it's even worse than being full off carb because you're just weighted down. You eat two biscuits and get full, but it takes half a steer to get full off keto stuff. I am full off keto stuff. 
Let's walk out here in the walk out here in the back party. See if we can't fly some more kites because it's windy as windy as the dickens. Chase some dogs first. Okay. Hey, what you do? Hey, what you do? Hey, come here. Come here. Hey, you do. Hey, you Tundra, tundra, tundra. Look at them flying them cats. Once the kids get done, I'm going to hit it up. What we have here is known as a birdhouse, but in North Alabama, ain't nothing but a place for red walls to take over. Anything in it? No walls. There's an anthill. Up. There's ants in it. Look at them go. John is a master tractor operator. He also has to make messes. Follow him around here. See if he can run me over. It smells like dirt. Huh? Smells like dirt. <laughs> Family just bought this new 40, 50 acres behind them here, so everybody's clearing it off because it ain't been touched in 100 years. They clean off the bank. Got a little area here, down there at the creek. There's some fish in there. When it gets a little during the summertime, I think there's probably fish in there now during the summertime, right? Uh oh, we got cots in there. They're up there too. They're at least two or three hundred feet in there. I'm zoomed in hard. Too many more. I can get more in there. Oop. Oh yeah. Look at them. Things are up there. Look, there's the ground. It's higher, higher than it looks. I'm zoomed in. It's weird. That looks like a big old parrot. Anyway, I think you got the gist of what we're doing. Hanging out outside, having a good time, flying kites, eating tons of sausage and pintos and every damn thing else we can think of. Getting our foot caught in barbed wire. That's not cool. Anyway, this is this week's video, the Keto Road Trip. A little snacky packy review. This is alright. I don't recommend uh, the Philly Cheesesteak Slim Jim. Buffalo one's not bad, but barbecue pork rinds, unsweet tea by Golden Leaf, and uh, our Pure Leaf, whichever one I have, Pure Leaf, Golden Leaf. They're all awesome. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.